This is Bear and Eric again, back with the gun facts for this week. Uh, today we're going to discuss one subject, which is going to be shotgun color codes. Now years ago, Federal came up with the idea that uh, all the uh, 12 gauges are red. Anytime you see a Federal shell that's a 12 gauge, it's going to be red. Uh, 16 is purple, 20 gauge is yellow, 410 is also red. But anybody that gets this mixed up with this, needs to go back to gun class 101. Now later, uh, all the 10 gauge loads from Federal are brown. That's the uh, Federal heavyweight turkey load. And here's the old, <laughs> that's a 766 grain slug. They stopped loading this shell about a year ago and it's one of our favorites for going out and destroying stuff. But here's your color codes. Now, as you can see over here, other manufacturers, they just go off the board. Uh, Winchester, that's a, a 10 gauge. We've got the uh, one of my favorite loads, which is the uh, Remington uh, Golden Target load there. A lot of these, they just go off the, off the meter. Now I'm going to show you some interesting shells here. This shell was loaded by Wanda Shell. Uh, this shell is probably 30 years old, but they had the idea of making it a clear body. You can see the powder. You can see the yellow indicates 20 gauge, and you can see the size of the shot in it, all by just picking it up and looking at it. Now, this shell also indicates that you don't really need a brass shotgun shell head. This is all plastic. No head on it. Now, this is an old Winchester shell. This is a, a 14 gauge. This is one out of my collection. I don't know what it was designed for. I don't know whether it was designed for some kind of special game getting gun or whatever, but this has been in my cartridge collection for about 30 years, and I've only seen one like it. It's a 14 gauge. It could be a line launching uh, load. It most definitely could be a line launcher. That would be my guess on that, Barry, would be mm -hmm. that it, it could be for a line well, launcher. Well, no, it says number eight shot. Number eight shot, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. Now, these two shells... Uh, back in the 60s, they had a, uh, the Air Force had an M6 rifle for pilots. This was a survival load. Number six shot, a Winchester shell, all aluminum. And this is the anti-personnel round in a 22 Hornet. See, this is a full metal jacket. They can't, at the Geneva Convention, you have to have a full metal jacket. These were loaded specifically for the Air Force survival gun. Okay. We've got, uh, oh, here's a nice one. It says Dispersante. This shell is loaded with square shot, so it'll scatter. This is a French shell. It's been in my collection for many, many years, but it's called a Dispersante, which is disperse. So, uh, square shot. That was an idea they had a long time ago. Awesome. If you had a full choke gun and you wanted to scatter the shots, you put a Dispersante in it and it would, it would open up the, up the pattern. But anyway, we're going over the codes again. Brown 10, 12 gauge red, 16 purple, 20 gauge yellow, 410 red. Now years ago, a thing that happened to me, there was a pack of wild animals that were running around our neighborhood. I grabbed up my Browning Sweet 16, loaded it with three shells and went out in the yard to, to, to shoot them. I shot one time, the gun malfunctioned. It was pitch black dark. I Jacked that shell out, put another in, did the same thing, fired the third shell, went out in the morning, there were three yellow holes laying in the driveway. So that Browning Sweet 16 fired 20 gauge shells, but they didn't have enough to operate the gun. So uh, that proves something right there. And Eric and I, we're going to be doing some videos in the future about doing that. Shooting shells in, uh, like a 20 and a 16, a 16 and a 12. We've already done a little bit of work, uh, like for instance, we did the 12 or the 20 and a 12 video where we shot a 20 right. gauge uh, inside of a 12 gauge, and then we loaded actually a 12 gauge behind it, and uh, that was pretty scary. Right, but a 16 won't drop down in the barrel. It'll, it will stay in the breech, and it will, and the firing pin uh, can strike it and fire it, but it's going to split the hull. But shotgun shells are very low pressure, proven by this wander round. This has no brass or steel head on it whatsoever. The whole shell is plastic. So uh, I guess that's going to do the color codes for this week and uh, of course next week we're going to we're going to try to do it. I want to do it and talk it over there. We're going to try to give you three or four gun facts per episode 
But this week we're going to do this one and uh, of course the gun gripes are going to come on schedule. And we've got a lot of good videos lined up for y'all. Oh yeah, we're going out Sunday to shoot people and we're going to have a hell of a time. We're going to have, well, Sunday's going to be fun, ain't it? Oh yes. You got that right. We all, y'all uh, just enjoy the videos and uh, just, you know, keep your heads up and, you, and, and everything. And don't worry about all this political stuff going on. It's, it's starting to turn around for us now.